There's Cunningham guarded by Dexter Dennis and big jump step through the lane, had to give it up. Late in the clock now though, Cunningham's gotta go. Dexter Dennis has his hands full this afternoon trying to guard Cade Cunningham. There and now Isaac Brown has a full complement of players for the first time this season. Cunningham for three, wouldn't go. Al Tariq Gilbert with the rebound. Cunningham coming in, averaging just over 20 a game. Weak side rebound in a hurry, Bryce Williams. Cunningham on Udeze, couldn't finish. Trey Wade with a rebound, nice defensive wall off by Udeze. A spinning hook shot, Morris Udeze has six early points. Took his time that time, pivoted to his right, pivoted back to his left and put it over the rim for a nice bucket. Cunningham has started 0 for 4 for, from the floor. Finished seventh in the Big 12 for what that's worth. Trey Wade off the inbound, squeezed the trigger and couldn't find the range from the right baseline and likely avoided big contact and laid it in. Well, that's what the Shocker coaches were really concerned about. Likely to trigger it in, looking for Cunningham. And Cunningham can't find the range. Yeah, he can't buy a basket right now. He is now <laughs> 0 for 5 to start the game. Robert made him pick up his dribble, made him give it up to Anderson. Now Cunningham has it back late in the shot clock. Anderson with three on the clock hits. And there's the unselfishness you were talking about. Cunningham could have very well shot that in the lane. Good back door. If you start back door, you got to keep cutting back door. Cunningham working on Dennis. And Boy. Dennis walls up, gets the rebound, and Cunningham's 0 for 6. Udeze back in there working on Caleb Boone. Oh, nice job defensively by Caleb Boone. Cunningham fouled on the rebound. Great job by Caleb Boone, sophomore from Tulsa to wall off Udeze. Collects the rebound up ahead to Cunningham, working on Dennis. Gives it up again. And a straightaway three is buried. Rondell Walker with the three-pointer and there. Now we have a whistle and a stoppage in play. Trevin Wade whips one down into the lane off the fingertips of Poor Bear Chandler. Yeah, Poor Bear Chandler was wide open, but uh, the defense was so big on Trevin Wade, he had a hard time finding him. There's a bucket by Kate Hungingham in transition, going to the basket. Poor Bear Chandler for three, and just like that, the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Yeah. And a lot of former Shockers probably still having nightmares about Jawan Evans, Bob. Yeah, John, John <laughs> Evans dropped a high number against the Shockers at Interest Bank Arena a few years back. And there's Cade Cunningham right on cue. Shot clock is off. Cade Cunningham with just five first half points. And he hooks one over Dexter <laughs> Dennis anyway. But Cunningham now with seven. I'll stay in there now. Flavors, their three point shooter's been kind of quiet. He's only Taken one shot, there's steps called on Cade Cunningham. Well, that won't be a travel for him next year. Shot put it one over the basket. Well, he put it up with his left hand on the follow and just kind of fanned on it, went all the way over the basket. Good hustle though by John Joseph at Bilal of getting on the floor for that loose ball. And he Jackson. And a nice bucket that time by Jackson driving and finishing. Good steal that time. It was either Etienne or Jackson getting his hand on that one. Gilbert corner three, draws a foul. Or no, that was an offensive foul as Altariq Gilbert kicked out his leg as Cunningham was flying by. Well, you don't see this call every day. Brett Smith says he threw his leg out. <clears throat> normally that would be a normally that would be a no call. Eight lead. Gilbert blew by, then uh, Cunningham was there to block his shot. Yeah. Now Cunningham posted up Udeze. Interesting matchup. Council over to help. Nice Behind the back pass, stolen away by Dexter Dennis. Yeah, he's going to need some help from Etienne and from Dexter Dennis. He can't finish with the left. Cunningham with a rebound. Yeah. Gilbert didn't get all the way to the rim. Council with the catch, working on Cunningham. Didn't get the call, and Cunningham walled him off. Yeah, Council forced it up into Cunningham, looking for the call. Or going back to man to man. And Dexter Dennis, when they have, has had the assignment. There's his first shot attempt in the second half. Well, it wasn't a post up, but Cunningham definitely took the shot. Differential between the shot and the game clock. And boy, you've never heard 525 louder.
Cade Cunningham just content to dribble it down. He's going to take this shot here. Over Dennis, hits. His first basket of the half is a three right in Dexter Dennis's face. Well, you can just see him using those rhythm dribbles, just trying to stare Dexter Dennis down. He just, just, just knew that he was going to take this shot. And he got Dexter Dennis leading, lead, leaning, but uh, pretty good pressure on the shot by Dennis. But Cunningham knocked it down, the 6'8 freshman. Ice water that time, and knocking that shot a down. Th a three at that. So now Wichita State has to have a three to keep this thing going. And at this late stage, you're looking for that first available good one, but you certainly want it to be a three. Gilbert working on Anderson. Dennis to tie. Wouldn't go. Well defended by Oklahoma State. And the Cowboys have won now 10 in a row dating back to last year. They stay undefeated at 6-0. and And Cade Cunningham with a cold-blooded three with 9.8 seconds, his only basket in the second half.